as you can see, there's a package on the front screen. Um, can't get too close because I don't want to expose my address. But I got a, something in the mail today, and I'm going to show you what I got. I got to unpack it real quick so I can't show my address. And I don't know if it's going to be original packaging, but I'll undo it real quick for you. I don't know if you can okay I don't know if you can see it but it is an original packaging so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up yeah that part opened all I gotta do is get them down, down there and I'll be done Maybe pause again and here's a hint to what it is it is in the box that the carrier makes and it has some blue you can probably guess what it is made by already if you know what I'm talking about but I'll proceed more on. Okay, I've got this side open and I'm going to rip it a little bit down about little by little. Okay. Let me see if I can position the phone enough. So I'm gonna pull it out. Okay. Now we've got it enough. You can definitely see who it's made by already now. Pulled off. It's also got a little seal on it. Cool. Move the knife out the way. Actually, now I gotta undo the seal. So I can do it. And can't really do this one handed. Broke the seal. Oh, no, there's another one too. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that dropped the bone. Okay, I'm gonna set y'all right there for a second. Right. It looks like there's some writing on there. I'm assuming from a pencil. I don't know why someone would scribble on it, but I'm going to see if it can erase. Yeah, it can erase off. Yeah, I'm sorry if I didn't show that, but they had a pencil marking on there. Okay. Oh, let's lift the top on this thing. Hey, <sighs> come on, lift it. Lift it. Oh, the air suction. Come on. Yep. <laughs> um. Nope, can't hold it with my neck. Okay, Okay, got the top off, and there's the device. It is supposed to be brand new. It's actually decently heavy. Feels like it's maybe made out of metal, maybe made of plastic, not sure right now. Uh, some metal, more pencil marking, and I got it. You can even mount it on the back. Some rubber feet. Got your ethernet port, two telephone ports. Power switch, and I believe these are supposed to be SMA external antenna ports. Right now, I can't really open them right now. I don't think I can. Dang it. I'll try that later. Set this here for now. Get the lid over here. Set that over there. Let's see what else is in the box? Looks like I got some um, instructions, some more user guide, come on focus, power connector, uh, telephone cord, yeah this is a telephone cord, and then the ethernet cord. I believe that's all I got, maybe. 
Ja. Um, did mine unit not come with a battery? Apparently not. Apparently mine did not come with a battery unless they installed it with it. And I didn't know it. Um, they did install one with it, so cool. Alright. Um, off, on. Nothing came on. I don't know if I need to remove anything. I'll just remove the battery. I don't know if there's... Okay. There's a little connector thing protecting it. So I just pull that off. And then you're good to go. If you do that, make sure I power this thing off. Off. SIM card slot right there. I think this USB port is to load your own firmware on it, but I would not recommend doing that. And put the big old battery in there. Put the back on. And turn your on. Oh, wait, let me let y'all see that again. That turns on first. Hmm. I don't know if the other thing came on again. Okay, battery showing low. It's yellow. If you can't see it. Focus. Focus. <laughs> That's shown that there's no SIM card in it, so I'm going to take my SIM out of the phone later. Um, I'm going to stop the video so I can do that right now. Okay? It's going to be an additional video, so I'm going to put SIM in there. Okay, I'm back to the next part of the video. I've got to take my SIM out of my phone, and I'm fixing to put the unit over. It slides down where you go to do it. Take the battery out. And I think the SIM card goes inward with the slot. The slot goes inward. So, wait until hair click. Put that in there. Click that. Turn our power on. Then our green power light comes on. Wish I could do this one handed right now with those connectors, but I cannot. Alright, let's see what the indicators show. It's showing red with the yellow power blinking. Don't know why it's not working right now. I don't know if this. Okay, there we go. We got a blue light and one bar. So I'm assuming it's 3G. Maybe 4G, possibly. I have no idea. It's got two bars. What I'm going to do right now is. Get a short cable and see if this connector is a gigabit cord or not. And it will tell if it's gigabit or not, if it's going to be green or yellow. So set this on the floor. And find the port. And see what color that turns to. If I can maneuver. Let's see. It is a gigabit port. So even though that shows yellow and green, that's a gigabit port. So we're good. Okay, I'm gonna shut this unit off. Powering down, I think. And for you guys who do not know what this unit is, this is the ZTE MF279 Cat6 4G LTE wireless router 
it can connect to carriers that work under at and towers, as well as the ones that work under the supported bands of this device. But that's all I had for today was an unboxing of this unit. It's a short, quick one. And look forward to see how it works in the future. But other than that, I'm going to test it out with my external antennas and see if they work or not. But I do have one thing. If ZTE is not going to be allowed to be used on US carriers, I can't recommend to buy it. You might want to have to buy another device. But other than that, seems like a little neat little unit you can carry with you too. Well, see what um, comes up in the next video if I get any new products. But that'll be all for today.